Welcome to this remix single on loading data in a route. So I've got a very basic app sitting here uh, on the index. We're going to link over to this route for uh, slash people. Uh, let's go look at that file. Here it is. See, we've got just this empty array, nothing here. And I'm going to let me open up the network tab and we'll kind of see what remix does here. So when I click this link to people. All right re-renders the page, changes the URL, and then down here you see that we got a code split bundle. So this, this code wasn't on the page until we navigated to the route. So you don't get the whole app, you just get the routes that you're looking at. So now I want to actually load some data from somewhere. So let's, uh, let's export async function loader. And I'm just going to return a list of one. So I'm going to say first name is Ryan Florence. Oh, that's my whole name. <laughs> Last name, Florence. Uh, maybe we'll put like an ID on here, like, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, let's put like a created at on it. Uh, yeah, I won't worry about that right now. All right, so now I've got this loader. Let's watch what happens as we repeat this. So when I click this link now, look at that. So now we uh, got the JavaScript, but we also loaded this data and we did it in parallel and we did it with a fetch request. Um, and then right here we can see that Remix fetched this data for us before we got to this page. So how do we access that fetch? Because we didn't make the fetch ourselves. We didn't have to write fetch anywhere. Remix will give us that with use loader data. So I'm going to import that from Remix. Hit save. And let's watch this happen again. So this time I click it. Hey, hey, so it shows up now with the fetch. If I just hit re reload, this does a full server render. And instead of making a fetch, notice there's no, there's no fetch requests in here. Um, it's just embedded in the HTML uh, as, as a full document, right? We can disable JavaScript here, reload the page. And we can see that a Remix app still renders even when um, there's no JavaScript, uh, which that's not the point. The point is that we get a fast server render. Um, so let's enable JavaScript again, put it back on here. Okay. So let's actually get this database from or data from a database. So I am using in this app, um, I used the Remix architect starter. So Architect is a wrap around AWS cloud formation that makes it so easy to deploy to AWS. And then they wrap uh, DynamoDB with this tables thing. Um, so I've got uh, a people table that I'm going to pull this data actually from. So from a real database. So I'm going to import Arc from, I've got a module here that um, kind of sets up that database a little bit. And then I'll say, here's my database, arc.tables. And then I'm going to return db.people.scan. Once again, this has nothing to do with Remix. This is all architect stuff. You can see it right here in the architect setup. And I'm saying, hey, I want this, this table of these people. And uh, I want to I wanna load them in. So once again, we're not looking at a, at a Remix API here. Okay, uh, there's there's one little difference here with my database. It's going to actually return a thing called uh, dot items on here. So I'm just going to drop that on there. Not a big deal. Let's save. See how we do. All right. Now I'm actually getting my data from the database. Um, so that is how you get data from your server into your browser or into your UI uh, for both server rendering and client side transitions and remix.